Hello guys, welcome back to the new video. So in this video, we will set up our navigation. So first of all, what is navigation? Navigation refers to the way users move between different screens or sections within an app. It's like a roadmap that helps user find and access different parts of the app. In our project, we will use Compose Destination Library for the navigation because it is simple and best one for Android project using Compose. And we can see we already have added the dependency for this Compose Destination Library. Here we can see. So let's close this file and first let's see the screenshots of all of our screens. So these will be our four screens. So let's go back to the Android Studio and first let's open all of our screen here. So these four are our screens. So first of all, what I will do, I will create one more composable function with the name dashboard screen route. And in this function, let's call our screen dashboard screen and make our dashboard screen function private. Now, first let's create this extra function in all of our screen. So now let's go to the task screen and here also let's create one more composable function. Again, let's call this task screen function here and make this function private. And now let's move on to this subject screen. Like this, now let's go to the session screen and let's do the same here. Now the next thing what we will do, we will use these function for navigation. So what we need to do, we need to annotate these functions with destination annotation. So here we can see this destination annotation is coming from that compose destination library. So let's annotate this and in the same way, let's annotate all of our screen with this destination annotation. So let's copy this. Now one thing more we need to do is this here in this destination annotation we also need to provide which one is the starting destination. So this dashboard screen will be our starting screen. It means whenever our app will open so it will open from this dashboard screen. So here let's use the parameter with start to true. So now it knows that it has to start the destination from this screen. Now the next thing we need to assign which screen would require arguments. So first let's see the screenshot. So here these will be our four screen. So our app will start from this first screen that will be dashboard screen. So this screen would require no argument because our app will start from this screen. Now, how can we navigate to the subject screen from the dashboard screen? We can do so by clicking on the subject cards. So when we click on the subject card, so we need to know which subject card has been clicked. So in this way, we will pass the subject ID to the subject screen. So that subject screen would know which subject it has to load. So this subject screen would require one argument that would be subject ID. And in the same way, our task screen would also require two arguments. How can we navigate to the task screen? We can do so with the two ways. We can navigate to the task screen by clicking on the task card. So it should pass the argument of task ID to the task screen. 
or it can be navigated by clicking from the second subject screen and tapping on that floating action button at task. Then it should pass the subject ID to the task screen. So task screen should know from which subject it has been navigated. So our task screen would require two arguments. But our fourth screen session screen would not require any argument because we can only navigate to session screen from one destination. That would be from the dashboard screen by tapping on this start study session button. So for our subject screen and task screen, let's make the arguments. So let's go to the subject screen and here let's create one data class with the name subject screen nav arts. So here I have created this data class to keep the navigation argument and this subject ID would require non nullable integer. It means a compulsory subject ID. And in the same way, let's go to our task screen and make a, another data class. So here I have created this data class task screen nav arcs and I have created these two values and these will be optional arguments because while navigating to this screen the arguments can also be null. Now the next thing we need to tell that this screen would require these arguments. So here in this destination annotation we will provide this nav arcs delegate to our data class like this. In the same way, let's go to our subject screen and here pass this subject screen nav arcs. Now the next thing. Let's go to our main activity and pass our navigation graph here. So first let's remove this session screen and also let's open these imports and delete these imports because now these are private functions so it can't import here. So here we can't just provide that navigation graph because these annotations will generate some code. So for that let's just rebuild our project. So our Gradle build has been successfully built. So here let's provide that destination nav host and here it is asking the nav graph. So we will just provide this nav graphs here this one dot root like this. Now let's run our app and see how this code is working. So here we can see it has started from the dashboard screen because we provided the destination start to true. But when we click on this subject cards and this start study session button and any of these task cards, so we will not be navigated to these respective screens because we have not provided any navigation on these things. So for that, let's minimize this. And let's go to our dashboard screen. And here, let's first access all those on click through these parameters. So here I have created these three on click parameters. So let's attach these to their respective on click. So first we have this on subject card. So here in this subject card section, let's press control B and create one more parameter. And let's scroll down 
and here on this subject card let's use this on subject card click and let's pass the subject id now let's scroll up and here let's connect our on subject card click to this on subject card click now we will provide this on subject card click here and next thing let's attach this on task card click to this value here in this task list let's use that on task card click and that start ready session on click to this on click now let's go to our session screen and here again let's use this dashboard screen with these parameters so with this navigation library we get the navigator which helps us in navigate this destination navigator so let's use this navigator first here in this on subject card click so here we will get the subject id so first we will check this subject id is not null and then we will use the code now we will use this navigator dot navigate we will say we need to navigate to the subject screen route destination this class this is the auto generated class by this library so we will use this and here we will pass our navbar and in the same way we will navigate to this task screen so here let's copy these two lines and here we will get the task id so here i am providing this subject id to the null because when we click on any of this subject cards then we only need to provide the task id and then we can fetch the whole task with that task id so here let's use this navigator dot navigate and we need to navigate to this task screen route destination and here let's use this nav args to nav arg and here i am checking this subject id if this is null and here i am not because this task id can also be null and here this nav arguments will accept the null value also that's why there is no need to check whether this is null or not and this on start session button click will be simple here we will see this navigator dot navigate and we need to navigate to this session screen route destination now let's run our app and see this change so now let's click on any of this subject card so it should navigate to this subject screen here we can see now if we want to navigate back to the previous screen so ideally we should go by pressing on this back icon on the top app bar but we have not provided any functionality so let's use the back button and here we have navigated back to the dashboard screen now let's again click on this start study session and here we have this session screen and let's go back to the dashboard screen now let's click on any of this task so it has navigated us to this task screen so let's minimize this and next let's go to our subject screen and in the same way we will provide this subject screen navigation logic so first of all let me create the parameters here now let's attach these value to their respective on click on back button click and here we have this fab so let's attach our on add task button click 
and let's scroll down and we have these two task list so let's again attach these now let's go back to our route function and here let's use this subject screen again and first let's use that navigator here again and here on this on back button click we will simply say navigator dot navigate up so with the help of this function it will navigate us to the screen from where we have come we have come to this subject screen from the dashboard screen so it will navigate us back to the dashboard screen and here in this on task card click let's just go to this dashboard screen and here copy this code and paste it here because the code will be exactly same because we need to navigate to this task screen by tapping on that task card and here on this add task button we will just use this code and here we don't need to provide the task id because we will be creating a new task so here just pass the task id to null and we will pass this subject id later when we will implement our view model so then we will fetch the subject and then we will pass that subject id so for now let's just use minus one and again it will navigate us to this task screen now we can run our app and see this change So let's click on this subject card and here in this subject screen first let's click on this back button so we will navigate back to the previous screen. So again let's click on any of this card so it has navigated us to the task screen but it will not navigate back to this screen because we have not provided that so let's use the back button and now let's click on this add task so we can see our subject screen navigation are also working perfectly fine now let's minimize this let's go to this task screen and here again in this task screen we will only provide the navigation to this on back button click so let's use that on back button click and attach this on click with our top app bar icon and here let's use navigator in the same way let's go to the session screen and again this screen will require one navigation so let's run it again and see these changes So here let's first click on this start study session button and press this back button. So here we can see it is working perfectly fine. Now let's click on this task card and let's press back button. So again it is also working. Now let's minimize this and let's go back to the dashboard screen. Now you might be wondering why we have created this extra composable function. Why we have not just simply used the navigator here and provide that navigation to this on click directly. We have created this extra composable function so that we can put all our navigation logic here in this function and in the future if we decide to switch to the different navigation library then we only need to change the code in this function and our screen ui code will remain unaffected so that is all for our navigation in our app and in the next video we will set up the room library for local storage and do subscribe so you don't miss the next video thanks for watching